great day for people if they're still following the Nordic project. Uh, I tried to make drop brackets for the rear. Didn't really work that well, so I'm just gonna reinstall the skid the way it was. But, main reason why I'm making this video is this right here. Found a 377 for a decent price, 60 bucks Canadian. Uh, it's not complete as, as you can see. It's a little weird stuff about it, like, well that's not, but he said it was apparently CDI, but it busted so he put points in it or something. Somehow I don't really believe that, but uh, didn't come with a coil pad and mine's right here. Uh, yes, he said it was CDI. There's my CDI. There's no mounts for this CDI on here. But for 60 bucks, I'm pretty sure I can make it work. If worse comes to worst, I could probably just uh, put this crank in it. Possibly. Not sure, but if not, I'll try to run points and condenser ignition I guess not nearly as reliable but he said after a while of running it it would just uh, I guess after it heated up the uh, it would die so either or it would run bad so probably the stator or the uh, maybe coil or the condenser but he said he was doing he rewired it with different ends so I'll have to change those out to make it fit on the sled the way it is right now so I got some work ahead of me it's got pretty good compression can you repeat that number? 65% of Canadians do not exercise enough to be active. Well, that's two thirds of Canadians. There's still quite a bit of winter left, so hopefully I can get this motor up and running good and uh, test it and get some more helmet cam footage before, like I said, winter's over, so swap out this stuff and see what happens.